<laughs> Welcome to Power Coat Music. Today we're going to talk about the Behringer Virtualizer 3D FX2000 Multi Effects Processor and its guitar effects. Now we know that guitarists use a wide variety of effects in their arsenals to get the sounds they want and need. Although some may argue there's really no right or wrong way to get the special effect or effects you need for your guitar. It depends on your personality, playing style, and bank account. Whether you use pedals, amps, effects processor, rag units, or just the guitar itself, keeping an open mind and trying new things is a key to getting effects that might work well for you. And the results could be surprising. On this channel, I reviewed the Behringer FX2000 multi effects processor. The FX2000 is a budget unit that far exceeded my and many other folks' expectations. I use it as part of my mix down and mastering chain. The key point here is that the Behringer FX2000 multi effects processor includes specific and targeted guitar effects that include tube distortion, guitar amps, tri fuzz and speaker simulations. Now I'm going to do an in-depth sound demo of all of them. So grab your coffee or your tea and just relax and stay with me. Don't go anywhere. If you have a limited space in your home studio for guitar amps and you're looking for a new and different ways to expand your sound and effects on a limited budget, I suggest you give the FX2000 a go. Before we describe in detail what the FX2000 can do with guitar effects and hear how it sounds, let's take a look at the FX2000's features and technical specifications. Now in this way, what we can do is we can get a better understanding of why the FX unit sounds the way it does. First, let's talk about the features of the unit. The features include 71 algorithms with RSM real sound modeling, wave adaptive virtual rooms, modulation dynamic and psychoacoustic algorithms. The unit has amp simulations, 11 effects combinations, up to seven adjustable parameters plus two band EQ per effect. It has state of the art hardware and stereo processing for realistic channel separation for ping ponging effects and such. It has extensive MIDI implementation, including SysX. There is LED level meters and servo balance XLR and quarter inch TRS inputs and outputs. Let's move on to the technical specifications. The processor type is a multi effects processor. It has two channels. The unit has 100 factory presets and 100 user presets. Regarding analog inputs, there are two XLR and two quarter inch. For analog outputs, there are two XLR and two quarter inch. MIDI ins and outs consist of an in, out, and through. The unit in rack spaces is one unit. The height is 1.75 inches. The width is 19 inches, the depth is 8 inches, and the unit weighs 4.5 pounds. Let's examine in more detail what the guitar effects in the FX2000 can do before you hear them so you'll know what you're hearing. <laughs> the first is tube distortion. This effect simulates the sound of different tube types. When an analog tube found in some guitar amplifiers is over amplified by raising the input signal of the guitar, the original signal is mixed with the harmonic overtones. When rising over modulation, also known as saturation of tubes, you know, the original signal is then distorted and it sounds fresh and full. This makes up really the classic sound in rock music and there are three tube types in the FX2000. Another effect is that we're going to hear is the guitar amp. This effect simulates the sound characteristics of course of a complete guitar amplifier. 
you can connect your guitar or bass after you know the appropriate preamplification if you want to do that um, directly to the FX2000 and from there to the mixing console or the recording device there are eight amp types the next is trifuzz this is a special guitar distortion type now Jimi Hendrix was one of the first guitarists to recognize uh, the appeal of this broadband transistor over modulation the humming distortion of the fuzz box is again popular with alternative rock and grunge bands the FX 2000's fuzz works in three different frequency bands low mid and high last but not least is speaker simulation the FX 2000 is able to simulate various types of speakers typical guitar amplifying speakers as well as multimedia speakers are available you can also use a parametric equalizer to further shape your sound and there are eight speaker types finally let's hear all of these sounds in action including the different subtypes all guitar effects were recorded using their factory presets the guitar I'm using for this demo is my PRS S2 standard 24 
Well, that's a wrap. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up and click the subscribe button on your screen right now and join our group. We have new videos coming out every seven to 10 days and we would love to have you be a part of our team. Also leave a comment in the comment section below and let us know what you think about this video. And check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Spotify. While you're here at the channel, listen to the music, check out some of the other videos and let us know what you think about that too. Thank you so much for stopping by. We really appreciate it and we look forward to seeing you soon.